Welcome to Electra Online. Once in a while, one of our viewers will ask, do you have videos on this, a particular topic? And sometimes we don't. And here was a topic that I realized we hadn't covered yet, at least not in any sort of detail. And I thought it might be a really good idea to add a section on what we call arc length. Now arc length, well, what is it? It's the measure of length along a curve from one point on the curve to another point on the curve. So mathematically, if you want to draw it out on an x-y graph, you can see that here is a curve. Let's say that it's a function of x. And you want to know the distance from this point to this point on the curve. So you try to measure it along that curve. Now notice, typically, they'll have the limits in terms of the x values. From x equals a to x equals b. They don't always say from x equals a to x equals b. They just say from a to b. And you have to realize they really meant from x equals a to x equals b. Sometimes they will actually give you the point, both the x and the y coordinate of the point, point 1, and the x and the y coordinate of the point 2. So essentially what we do then is we snip it up into small little sections, small little delta L's. And notice that if you blow this up, you can see that the delta L, even though it's curved, you can approximate the length by using Pythagorean theorem. We can say that delta L is equal to the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. Now, of course, for that to be actually true, we need to shrink the size of delta L until it essentially in the limit goes to zero. Well, then in the limit, we'll have an infinite number of little delta L's. We add them all up, and of course, that sounds like integration. But we want to first take a look at it this way. We want to say that the length of the curve is equal to the sum of all the little sections, however many sections there are. Let's say there's n number of sections. Of course, when n goes to infinity, that's when you have an integration. That's when you get the exact length of that curve. So we can simply say it's the sum of all the square roots of delta x squared plus delta y squared from k equals 1 to n, and then of course in the end going to infinity. So that's the concept of the arc length. We can also call it the length of the curve. Now, what you find with this kind of thing is that the way it's going to be solved, and we'll show you in the next videos how that's done, you end up with some very difficult integrals to integrate, and that's very common with this approach with trying to find the arc length. And you'll find that a lot of the examples in your textbook and a lot of the exercises have functions set up very special so that the integration is not too difficult. Even for very simple curves, finding the arc length can be a very difficult thing. And you'll see that and we'll show you some examples of some of those difficult integrals and how to go ahead and deal with them. So if you want to know more about this topic, stay tuned and we'll show you a number of videos explaining how to find the arc length of all kinds of different curves.